A few years ago, Morgan from Hedamame handed me these awesome 3D printed headphones, and they're awesome. They're great over ear, like studio headphones. And the cool part is you can either get them fully assembled and, and 3D printed, or you can just buy the kit with the parts. I've been using them to edit videos and review things and whatnot, and I, I really like them. And I really like the idea of headphones that are both affordable, high quality, and you can make yourself and customize. And there's some really cool designs people have done with different colors and different uh, surface finishes and stuff. Super cool. Just a few weeks ago, Morgan reached out and said, hey, I have something new that I think is really gonna switch things up. So he sent it to me to try out. This is one of the few prototypes he has, so I need to try it out and then send it back to him. But uh, this, I'm excited to try this out. So. This is the next version of Hatamame. And the special thing about this is the part that you can't see. <laughs> it's the headphone driver. So what Morgan said is that in really high-end audiophile headphones now at like the $1,000 price point and above, they're starting to use glass for the headphone driver, for the membrane on the speaker in the headphones. He's just launching his Kickstarter now. So on Kickstarter, they're about 367 on Kickstarter, which they're listing a list price of 469 USD. So not $1,000, and these look great. I mean, they barely look 3D printed. It looks like he's using some sort of glass fiber or carbon fiber filament or a fuzzy texture on it, and they look phenomenal. They look like they could be injection molded. And then TPU for the headband. But I was told the real test is uh, try them on and listen to them. So let me try them out. Oh, they feel good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna plug this into my laptop here. Now, I would not consider myself an audiophile. However, I do carry headphones with me all the time. I listen to my trusty AirPod Pro 2s, and so I'm really curious to see how these stack up against that, because these should be much higher quality. So Morgan said, listen to your favorite music, whatever your favorite song is, so something that you know well. Let's try something with like more, more like oomph to it. Oh, the Velt I've listened to a lot. Let's try that. It just has like so much more space, it feels like. That has less bass in it than I would have thought. Maybe it's a song though, sort of a flat kick on it. Yeah, that feels flat. Huh, I don't think that's the headphone, so. Let me see, I've got a couple others. I grew up listening to Paul Simon. I'm gonna listen to a Paul Simon song. I've listened to his songs more times than probably any other song. My folks were big Paul Simon fans, so let's listen to Diamond on the Soles of Her Shoes. She's a rich girl, she don't try to hide it. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. This is cool. He's a poor boy, empty as a pocket. Empty as a pocket with nothing to lose. Sing ta na na ta na 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 It's really clean. This is really nice. Soles of your shoes. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes. Diamonds on the soles of the shoes. Yeah, it's just really clean and crisp. Wow, I really like that. I'm gonna try now uh, Eden by Hanaya Rainey, which is a modern classical piano piece, which I listen to a lot when I'm feeling stressed out. So I've always known it's in this recording, but I've never heard it this well. You can actually hear the mechanics of the piano. Like you can hear the hammers and the pads and the keys moving, which is lovely. Oh, those bass, those deep bass sounds sound good. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, let's see what else do I have. About Richmond, north of Richmond, that was popular for a while. Ooh, you can hear all the bugs in the background where he's recording. He recorded it outside. Yeah. And people like you. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure I have the vocabulary to describe it all because I'm not an audiophile, but they sound really good. <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. I really want to look inside them. I don't want to break them though because I know they're one of his prototypes. Pull these up over the edge. 
damage. Okay. And then you just screw them on and off. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, that's crazy. That is the membrane right there. That's the glass. So if you compare from his previous version. Okay. So that is the previous version, which sounds good, but um, you can see that is the speaker. And on this one, totally different driver. Gorgeous. Yeah, you can see the coil suspended above the, the back. Don't tap the glass, it says right here. So we won't do that. All right, and then to put them back together, it's got this little groove here, and so you just screw it on. That's so cool. That is very clever. Awesome. These are gorgeous. Go check out his Kickstarter. Um, this is not sponsored. I just think this is really cool. And uh, yeah, go check it out. I think this is really gonna shake things up for, certainly in the audiophile community, but I think if you appreciate good sound and good music, you'll enjoy them too. And uh, I love the 3D printed aspect of it. I love the whole idea of democratizing high-end electronics um, in general. And I love the idea of DIY and open source stuff. And um, I think he's just nailing it on all fronts. I'll put a link to the, the Kickstarter down below. I sent the headphones back to Morgan at Hedamame, and I sent him a quick early review of this video just to make sure I didn't get anything wrong. <laughs> and he replied via email saying, I had the headphones on backwards. <laughs> and then he thinks maybe that's why I wasn't hearing as many lows in like when I was listening to the Vel uh, Deadmau5 song. That has less bass in it than I would have thought. My bad, sorry Morgan. I did check, they're engraved on the cables, they say left and right, and I could have sworn I got them on correctly. I, I don't know what happened. They still sound amazing. So he said they probably should sound a lot better if I'd had them on the right ears. I guess the both the ear pads and the drivers are angled, so they may not have been directly facing into my ears. So they should sound better if I wear them correctly. If you back the Kickstarter and buy the assembled headphones, you'll get all the 3D printer files so you can print your own parts, um, either if you break something or if you wanna make them different colors or customize them or whatever. I just love that about Hedamame in general, both um, the, the new glass headphones and the, the um, originals that I have here. He's gonna be doing a kit version uh, next year and that they've learned a lot in making this and they're gonna apply those design changes and tuning and stuff to the DIY kit next year. So if you're more of a DIY type person, that's gonna be pretty cool too. And it sounds like Morgan really like his heart and soul is into this, and he is not one to just put out a product and leave it. He's constantly tweaking and tuning. So um, I would imagine that there will be updates in the future. I'm gonna try and remember my left from my right, and I'll see you again soon.